I once had a consult for a patient and the patient was mechanically ventilated. When I came to the bedside, I found the patient was still awake and squirming around in the bed. I said, could we go up on the sedation? The nurse said, no, we're, we're maxed out on propofol. There's, there's nothing else we can do. And I said, okay, well, well, how much analgesia are we on? And the nurse said, we're not on any. The, the doc didn't want to start them because they're not a surgical patient. They're not a trauma patient. They're not in any pain. And I looked back at the nurse. I said, this patient's absolutely in pain. This patient is mechanically ventilated. They're laying in a bed for a couple of hours. Um, we're doing things to that patient. We're drawing blood. We're, we're putting in lines. That patient is in pain. And it reminded me of the fact that we have to be cognizant of the fact that analgesia is so important for our patients. It, it's actually analgesia first for our patients. If you do good analgesia for your patients who are mechanically ventilated, you'll find that you don't have to use as heavy a dose of your sedatives. The sedatives that you give have no analgesic properties. That's not true. I mean, things like Presidex or dexmedetomidine, things like ketamine do have some analgesic properties, but they're still not good enough than good old fashioned analgesia. Propofol certainly has no analgesia. And so the takeaway from the story is that when you have your patients who are mechanically ventilated, don't forget just because they may not have anything somatically wrong with them, the things that we do to our patients cause pain and give good analgesia first and then layer on your sedative hypnotics. That's not just my opinion. That's in the SCCM guidelines. And if that patient stays uncomfortable, give them more analgesia first before you go up on your sedatives. If you're generous with your analgesia, the less sedative hypnotics that you're going to give, the better hemodynamically that the patient's going to be, and more importantly, the better clinician that you're going to be.